The next morning, I overslept and went the coastal road for lunch right away. I arrived at raw fish restaurant. Oh, you have to eat raw fish in Jeju. We ordered coarse food, but first of all, some of the creatures like sea turtles and octopus came out. The octopus is, looks a little strange, but it tastes good. And the main dish for today came out. It is more delicious when you eat raw fish like meat. You have to wrap ingredients with vegetables. Unlike meat, it also tastes good with seaweed too. You can just eat as raw fish or with some rice and you can taste taste of sushi then you know. I can say that I had to eat ear shell which was selected as one of the high quality ingredients in Korea. It is better to understand the taste of butter shellfish but it is more delicious and chewy than ordinary shellfish flavor. After the main course, many dishes came up. It is called corn cheese, which looks a very foreign food, but in fact, it was born in Korea. Look at this cheese. It looks like a Spider-Man's spider web. This fried rice was built in ear shell, which is really delicious. The fried squid and the sweet potato fries were also nice. This orange-colored creature, Koreans are one of the best favorite foods. Of course, I am completely depressed. Do you see my expression? <laughs> Apart from this, it was very satisfying lunch. Our next destination was Rich Mango, a very famous mango drink in Jeju Island. I usually don't drink mango often, so I concerned about another flavor, but I tried the mango menu because the main menu was mango. So when the order drink came out, the agency boss called me that Korean celebrity's name. I would like to say that it is by far the best mango juice I've ever eaten. Today's main course, we arrived at Hapje Beaches. It is beautiful beach with an emerald light. A cute kid wearing an emerald beanie is running happily. There's a little mammoth statue. I hold those a cup post. There was a lot of stones on the side, especially Koreans like to build towers in places where there are stones. And we went for a closer look at the ocean. It is still cold but it looks great. If you do not have waves, you will be artificially hearted like me. I was very annoyed. <laughs> I ended up having a fun time at Seaside. I took a break at the cafe. The evening flight back to Seoul is approaching and I wanted to eat a little more local food. So I visited the Kimbambu Kimbao. It is one of the best hot foods these days in Korea. This is a ramen restaurant not far from the beach. From the first day, I wanted to eat ramen with a plenty of seafood. It has the closest view from the sea to the place I've ever eaten. With the consent of staff, I took out the bread and kimbap which part before I, we decide to eat with ramen. Not like my expression, it was delicious. I wish I could taste it in Seoul. Look at this, this is seafood ramen. Do you see these are lots of real seafood? The ramen noodles that smells like the sea. Only the person who eats will know the taste. There was a shellfish here too. It's not because my chopstick is bad that those ear shells keep falling. It was too tangled and slippery. I wanted to eat sweet drinks, so we stopped it by Rich Mango again. I searched for the nearest mango, Rich Mango agency, but it was the same place I visited at the day. We took the rental car back and they picked us up to the Jeju airport. The best thing to make up those sadness for ending of this trip is duty free shopping. Even then the pay time passed quickly and we set ourselves on the airplane to Seoul. Two nights and three days. It was hard enough to put a lot of plans for a short period of time but it was very happy trip ever. <laughs>